Yo, hello everyone and welcome back again to a brand new video. Synology enthusiasts, are you looking to enhance the security of your NAS device in 2024? You are in the right place. In this comprehensive tutorial, we will show you how to set up two-factor authentication, which is the 2FA, on your Synology device. By enabling two-factor authentication, you will significantly reduce the risk of unauthorized access to your data. So guys, let's get started. So before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have the full information. So guys, first thing is we should go ahead and open the official website of Synology. So as you can see here, I have it right here opened. So I'm simply going to click on login so I can log in into my account. So we simply have to click to my Gmail so I can shortcut it and here I am. So now I will be able to join my account in a few clicks. So let's click on continue and it will be ready like that i agree send me i don't want that and submit and as you can see it is done and signed in as you see right here so after that as you can see here this is my account so user type from user okay uh, there we go so here i have my profile here you can find your email, recovery email, and the recovery phone. These are pretty much important guys, so add them. They can work also as two-factor authentication, especially for recovery phone. Because the two-factor authentication is basically either for an app or an SMS. So if you use the recovery phone, that is called basically the two-factor authentication. So here you will find the security and basically here you will find all the things you will need to make your account secure. So here as we talked about it in this video, as we are going to talk about it in this video I mean, we are going to talk about the two-factor authentication and how to enable it in Synology accounts. So basically here this is the two-factor authentication add an extra layer of security to your password by requiring a second authentication step in one time password which is an otp so let's switch method and here when signing into your synology account the two-factor authentication 2fa requires you to enter a password and a verification code you can receive an otp code even if your mobile device is offline so follow these steps to sign in into your synology account email and password synology account will ask Ask for a verification code and open the app on your mobile device and type the verification code OTP. So for those who are asking with, with, like which app should I download on my mobile phone, uh, which, which, what kind of app exactly should I have? Well basically there is a lot of apps but the ones that are basically the most known so there is authentication authenticator which is basically by uh, there is Google Authenticator and there is a Microsoft Authenticator. So this is the one for Google. If you have like the Android, you can download that. And the same thing goes for the iOS. So these both apps are actually available on both stores. So you can download them on both devices. Uh, this this was basically the old logo or the old icon of the Google Authenticator. But after that, they have changed it to something that fits the design more or the coloring that they have on their logo in general. So, yeah, this is basically the logo of the actual uh, app. So you can go for it, download it. And there's other uh, like apps like Duo, like uh, as you can see here, these are all the apps that you can use them as authenticator. But uh, you know, to make it as safe as possible, you'd rather go for either Google or for Microsoft. These are the most reliable companies that you can trust within these days. So now after we understand these basic things, so the next step is to simply click right here to click on next. And here, a six-digit verification code will be sent to our email address. So we have to go to our Gmail, go to the inbox and open the first others and there we go so let's copy this paste it right here um okay let's paste it and click on next and now we have passed the first layer so now they are going to ask us for a stronger password so let me just try to put any kind of password that i can add all right so there we go now here let me just duplicate it next and here they are going to ask us to actually add a mobile phone so let me just try to add something randomly um yeah i have bought this number for 
videos so i'm gonna use it here uh right let me just check the number okay here it is 73 45 and 94. now normally when i click send i will receive a number a verification number that will be sent to me which is uh yep here it is so 141125 one four four one two five click on next and now this is the process where we have to basically open our apps so the app that i talked about in the beginning of this video which are basically either these two which are basically google authenticator or the microsoft authenticator so you simply have now to open your apps so it's pretty straightforward from now so open your app and basically scan this qr code so enter a setup key here i'm going to uh, scan a QR code and as you can see you can scan QR code let me just focus on it uh, try using the camera on your iPhone or iPad instead okay let me just try to scan it uh, using my camera so use camera on my mobile phone and I'm going to scan it and then they are going to take me to another website so here after I scanned it please install the indicator app um yeah here what they are asking me to do is to download their own authenticator app which is going to be the synology secure sign in so it is going to be this one so it is called synology synology when this synology authenticator as you can see it is this one so now what they have asked me to do is to download their app which is their authenticator app since I think they don't really accept any other apps so here I can add my uh, basically my QR code to be scanned so there we go let me just scan this real quick and yeah so now I can tap here the code let me just show you real quick 388483 let me see. okay it changed so 790.195 and then i'm gonna click on next so basically now we have verified our account and we have successfully added our two-factor authentication by adding our number as i said so the recovery number has been added directly when we try to add the two-factor authenticator and for the security as you can see right here we have added the two-factor authentication successfully now if you would like to remove it you can simply click here to action and remove trusted devices or change recovery phone or turn off the two-factor authentication but to turn it off as you can see it will be turned off for the first time without any problems the second time you will try to do so they will ask you to put the code that you have in your authenticator app so it's going to be more secured so yeah guys that was it for today's video if you did enjoy it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and see you guys in the next tutorial.